of Syrian aircraft intensifying raids on rebel positions. But perhaps more than bombs, it's a change in the political position of some Western backers of the Syrian rebels that should worry Assad's opponents most. The U.S., which last April recognized the Syrian National Council as the main group representing the Syrian revolution, is now having second thoughts. We've made it clear that uh, the SNC can no longer be uh, viewed as the uh, visible uh, leader of the opposition. They can be part of a larger opposition, but that opposition must include people from inside Syria and others who have a legitimate voice that needs to be heard. And Clinton also has another concern. We also need an opposition that will be on record strongly resisting uh, the efforts by extremists to hijack uh, the Syrian revolution. The new U.S. stance comes after several months of political stalemate inside the United Nations Security Council because of the Russian and Chinese vetoes on any serious action in Syria. It also comes after months of divisions within the Syrian National Council itself, as well as fragmentation within the ranks of the rebels over who really represents the Syrian revolution. We are one of those who, in fact, uh, been calling to reform the SNC for a while now. And uh, we have to be creative. We have to be responsive to um, changes on the ground, as I said. And in fact, um, one of the reasons why we do as well share the concern about the rise of radical groups inside Syria, uh, not only you know the, the lack of unity among the opposition, but the lack of unity among the international community. Uh, the lack, the inaction that we have, in fact, uh, that's been demonstrated uh, by the paralysis of the Security Council. Conscious of these issues, perhaps the Syrian National Council met with other rebel groups in Istanbul on Wednesday to discuss a political roadmap for a post-Assad transitional period. More meetings are expected to be held in Doha, this time to prepare for a new leadership for the council. Alarmed perhaps by the new U.S. stance, the Syrian National Council may need to focus on how to end divisions and include as many components of the Syrian opposition as it can. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera.